everybody, my name is Scott. Welcome to the Corvette channel. I just wanted to show you guys uh, some things that I've done and am currently doing. And I am about to do a repair that I'm sure a lot of you guys have run into where you have a leather or a vinyl problem, some sort of flaw, whether that you did it yourself or you bought the car and somebody's put a cigarette hole in it or, you know, in this case, someone has decided that they were going to try to hold the uh, the panels onto the car with uh, with screws instead of trying to actually fix the panel. So um, they drove a nice like like two and a half inch screw right into the um, right into the door panel. And so now I've managed to fix the door panel, but now I've got all this nice nasty hole. So I'm going to show you what that looks like beforehand. Uh, the one thing that I did do that before I, before I decided to do the video was to um, just clean off the edges where it was sharp. So uh, in the instruction manual it actually says to do that and I'm going to go ahead and show you what I cleaned up um, and then uh, we'll go ahead and we'll put some of the stuff on it and then we'll let it dry and we'll see how it comes out. Okay, what we've got here is we've got our do-it-yourself professional uh, leather and vinyl repair kit. Uh, got this off of Amazon for around $19 and um, you can see that it comes with all the different colors to mix with and it has some uh, some sample pieces here um, and also some backing for if you have a really big large tear. Uh, an applicator stick, some alcohol pads, and the instructions on how to get, the, get your colors as close as possible. Now I'm, I'm doing this repair on my 92 Corvette. Um, has so lucky for me it happens to have black interior so I don't even really have to do any mixing. So that makes it really nice for me and being able to show this. But it, in your case, if the interior was a different color, it would show you how to go about uh, getting that color adjusted. So I'm going to show you what I'm, what I'm doing to the door and we'll go from there. Okay, so here, here we have the passenger door and you can see right here that you can see right where they decided to screw try a couple different spots but the the big one was right there so you can see you know pretty good size hole there that does not look good so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna wipe this down with alcohol that's the first thing that they want you to do let that dry and then we're gonna go ahead and do the application of the adhesive and the and the color it's all mixed in one so once we put this on we just gotta wait uh, it says anywhere from two to four hours um, and then we just have to kind of like uh, smooth it out with a Q-tip. So um, I'm going to go ahead and pause the video for a second, get the Q-tip, and we'll be back in a second. Okay, so I've got my alcohol, I've got my uh, cotton swab here, or the, or the alcohol wipe, I should say. And we're just going to wipe this down. We're just going to wipe this whole se section down to make sure that we, we you know, we don't have anything sticking to it, just like so. And then we're just going to let that dry. Okay, so here's the here's the black color that we're going to need, and um, I'm just going to grab a little bit of this stuff. It doesn't take a whole heck of a lot. See right there. And we're just going to put this right over here on the on the door panel. And just very, very light. Just like so. Now there's a lot of these out here, and I've tried a few different ones. And I haven't been very happy with them. A lot of them either requires that you have to have heat. So you got to have a you know blow dryer or a heat gun um, or an iron. I've even seen ones that required an iron. Um, so the, this one here actually has the adhesive already built in, so you don't have to do that. So you can see that they had, this guy, whoever it was, had the car before me. He got a little carried away with his screws. And so we're just going to put these on very, very thin-like. Okay, I apologize for the camera. I'm still learning to do this, and um, it's not as easy as it looks to be able to actually hold it, hold the camera, 
and do the work at the same time. And I think I'll have to look into doing something a little bit different to hold on to this because this is going to be fun. All right. So basically that's all there is. You can see, you know, that it's not, it's very, very thin. It's not running or anything like that. We, we've got very little. Um, and it's, all we're doing is just getting it where it's smooth. Okay. So now at this point, we're just going to let that dry. Um, so this will take anywhere from two to four hours. And it says that it will get tacky and sticky. Right. That, that uh, it's probably going to be closer to the two hour mark because of the fact that it's very, very thin. And I didn't have to fill a whole heck of a lot. Um, then we may have to apply a little bit more. We don't, I, I don't know. We'll have to see what it looks like. Um, but then after that, we're going to use a Q-tip dipped in alcohol, and we're just going to like slowly rub it, just like as if you were waxing your car. And that's going to give it a. It's going to blend this in with the the existing um, um, vinyl that's there, and then it should take on kind of a texture. It should start to blend, um, and so we'll we'll see how that looks, but. At this point, it looks pretty good to me. Um, it's going on nice and uh, nice and smooth, and it should come out okay. Okay, we're actually way over six hours. I finally did this and then got busy, and I wasn't able to do it until later on, so we're probably about 10, 12 hours into this. And it's dried, um, all nice and shiny, but you can see here, if you can look in the right angle here, you can see that it has kind of sucked down into the hole. So we're going to try to clean this up a little bit with the alcohol, and then we're going to go ahead and add another layer onto it to, to build that up. So I'm just now going to go ahead and start blending this in, and you can see here that it's, it's not taking a lot of pressure, just a little bit here, and you can see as I'm turning the Q-tip that it's uh, just blending it in. And we're just going to wipe that down, let it, you know, kind of get into the hole. And then once we're done, we'll let it dry. And then we're going to go ahead and re just going to refill the hole a little bit more and allow it to dry again for a couple of hours. And then we'll go from there. Okay, so here's the end product, basically. We've, it's, um, I mean, it's visible. If you start to look at it, you can see it if you knew it was there, but it's not like it's um, something that's really, really noticeable now. Um, so I'm, I'm pretty happy with it. I could spend a little bit more time, um, and I might do that in the future, but actually overall, um, I'm pretty happy with that. Um, it's not it's gonna be something that just jumps out like a sore thumb. So I'm going to call it into this video. I just hope that you got the gist of it. Maybe some of you guys are maybe a little more talented and have a little more, a little more patience than I do. Um, this took about four or five different applications to get this done. Um, but uh, I would say that this kit that I got was a, was, it was a hit and it, it did what it said it was going to do. Hopefully any, all of this video helped and gives you an idea of how actually how easy it is to really do it it just takes a little bit of time hope everyone has a great day and we'll talk to you later